Hey, what's up guys? My name is The Cherno and welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the most frequently requested topics I get and that is how did I start programming? I feel like I've been in so many forests lately. Hope you guys are enjoying these pretty much daily vlogs. I mean, it's been a pretty crazy week. I'm currently in Europe and I will be for like the rest of the month and half of August as well. There's just so much stuff out here. So many beautiful places in Europe. I mean, check it out. Or should I say check it out? Not even a sunny day. In fact, it's kind of dark. You know, the only reason I brought those glasses was so I could do that, that thing. I need help. So, how did I start programming? So I started programming when I was about 16. Yeah, I was 16. Yeah. I don't know if you want the whole story or the abridged. This is probably gonna be the abridged because, you know, it'd be kind of cool to kind of go into detail and just have like a two hour version of me talking and just everything. That'd probably bore them though. So the abridged version will start when I was 16. I think I had some kind of exposure to programming probably before that, but I think that the first time I actually kind of took it seriously and started actually learning it properly for reals because I wanted to was, I think I was 16. So being 16, I would have been in year 11 in high school, which was the second last year of high school. And I think at that point, I was still kind of trying to decide what I wanted to do with my life. Man, the suspense of a bear just coming out and slaughtering me. Is it weird that I kind of wish I had a slow-mo cam set up in case that happened? And that's like the first thing I'm thinking about. Anyway, so the year is 2011. I'm 16. I'm in high school. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with my life. And back then I was really, really into filming. Like I loved making videos. I loved trying to make movies with my friends. In fact, I remember we had this thing on Friday nights where after school, a bunch of my friends would come to my place and we would try and film like sketches and stuff like that. In fact, I think there are a few on YouTube if you look really hard. And so kind of all of high school I went through with this notion of I really want to be a filmmaker, I really want to be a film producer. I was really into visual effects as well so I didn't mind doing that. I just, I really wanted to make it in the film industry and that was just all I wanted to do was make videos, make movies, do that kind of stuff. I was also interested in computers but it wasn't, it was never like an overwhelming, like I liked playing games but I don't think I ever considered the possibility of actually making games myself. I don't know whether I thought it was too difficult or whether I just wasn't as interested in that as I was in making movies, but I, I don't really remember actually. I don't know what my deal was with that to be honest, but I didn't really research how games were made that much. I think I probably would have like looked it up and seen videos of like huge teams at large companies making AAA titles, but I, I don't think I was never really... One thing that I didn't really feel satisfied about with the art side of things in terms of like making movies and all of that, like I was doing art subjects, these mosquitoes, I was doing art subjects and I just, I, I also really liked maths and I like, maths was one of my favorite subjects. I, like, I remember I liked it a lot more than English. I even liked it more than some of the art subjects I was doing. like. To me, it was just really cool that there was only one right answer and having like all of that technicality that went into it. I don't know, I just, it just really, it triggered something in me that I just, I loved. And so I really wasn't feeling that satisfied, I think, with art and those subjects because I just, I needed something more technical. I think about early 20, like, the way that high schools work in Australia is that the year starts like in February, the beginning of the year, because our summer is like December, January, February. So like year 11 would have been from like February to December pretty much. I think I or I think I already started looking into the possibility of how to make games and maybe how to learn that, but I I never really started learning it. I was just researching it, exploring it, I think at that point. And I was kind of into Minecraft back then and so I was following Notch on Twitter and I remember like him doing a Ludum Dare, which is a, or Ludum Dare, however you want to be fancy with your pronunciation, whatever, I don't care. I'm going to say Ludum Dare, deal with it. Where are my sunglasses? Deal with it. I could get them. Deal with it. See, that's high production value. The fact that I did that, and the fact that I wasn't lazy, and I actually did that, that's why these videos are so good. So Nosh was doing a Ludum Dare, and I didn't know what that was at all at that point, but what I really was interested in, and that was like Ludum Dare, I, I want to say 24, but it wasn't 24, because I did Ludum Dare 24, so it would have been like 20 or something. I don't know, but Not Notch made this game called Prelude of the Chambered, which was a, like a Doom style kind of dungeon crawler game. And I remember I actually caught that live stream when it was still live, and I was just watching this guy with a program on his computer, and he was just typing code, and like, 
things were happening on the screen and these pixels were like playing around and he was writing these algorithms in code and you could see the result on the screen immediately. And I was just completely like, I was in awe of this entire thing. And I was like, that that's amazing. And so I kept watching and then later I actually found that people had uploaded videos of the parts that I missed to YouTube. And suddenly like something just clicked in my head and I thought to myself, I don't know how to program. I don't know Java. Java was the language that he wrote this in. I don't know Java, I don't know programming, I've never written code in my life. I think at that point actually I'd written maybe HTML and CSS code before, if you can even call that code, but definitely no actual programming languages at all ever at that point. And I remember thinking to myself, if I sit down and like pause the video every five seconds and copy down all the code that he has, technically I'll have a game right? Because everything he did, that entire process of making a game from scratch, from start to finish, was captured in one live stream. It wasn't like some, I think a lot of people, including Notch, were doing live streams of them just developing games, but never from start to finish. Like, it was just them working on a project that they had been working on for like a year, and it was a massive code base. Obviously nothing, I couldn't understand that, but the, the, like, it was way too much code for someone who's not a programmer at all to understand. But I remembered that, hey, like, I can just write down hundred lines of code and just read them and I guess I'll learn to understand them. I'll learn how they work and have like having someone making a game from start to finish kind of sequentially as they're working through it. That was such a unique experience. I don't think anyone was really doing that at that point. Um, and to me, I was like, I don't know, something just clicked in my brain. And I was like, if I do this, if I do exactly what he did, I will get the same result. I'll get a game. And so that was really like, I think that sparked something in me because I knew that there was a way now for me to do it. I don't know. Obviously, I could have like followed a tutorial or read a book or but I didn't, right? I don't know why. Nothing really, no, I, I never really wanted to do this until I kind of ran into this and realized if I do this, I'll get a game. And by now, maybe it's like June 2011 and I'm, I've got quite a bit of code down. In fact, I even remember I was at a friend's place. We were playing Modern Warfare 2 because that was just such a good game. And I was actually like, I think a few friends were over and I was just sitting like in the same room on like a desk with my laptop, just copying down the code from the video because I, I was like, oh man, I just, I need to, I need to get this. And it was so cool because it's different than if I found code on GitHub, right? Because I'm actually seeing someone as they iterate over that same code and improve it and change it and make it do things like, if you just go to GitHub and you copy all the code, like assuming it's one commit or whatever, and you copy all the code down, you, you do have a game, yes, but you have the finished game. You don't have all the stages. You don't have the kind of the infancy of the game, the infant stages of like there are no textures yet or whatever. And that was the part that really interested me. The fact that is like you can start small and you just kind of you grow the game from there. And I had something working, but again, I, I, I was Googling my way all this time because I had no idea what the code was doing at all. Like I had some ideas because obviously code is kind of written in English, but again, I'm, I'm no programmer. I had no programming experience whatsoever, never any books on programming. Just I didn't know how to actually write code myself. I was just copying text. And so I bought a book called Java for Dummies. There's a link in the description below to a couple books that I recommend. In fact, like every video I put out has like links to programming books, but there are, I've put some ones that I've mentioned in, in this video in the description below if you want to check them out. But Java for Dummies was the name of the book and that was, again, because not sure this code in Java, I was trying to learn what I was copying. Because obviously for me, like, it wasn't a deal of copying. I was just copying to learn, right? I wasn't copying to release games or anything at that point. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just copying because I wanted to learn. And this was almost like someone telling me exactly what to do so that I could make a game. It's like when you're following a recipe to bake a cake. You follow everything step by step and you get a cake if you've done it correctly. And so here I am following all of this stuff not knowing any anything about the code like at all and i realized like this is cool i've got pixels on the screen and and to make things even cooler i think i didn't realize this at the time but obviously there were game engines like unity i think you, well i'm not sure about unreal back then but unity was definitely out in 2011 but i knew about it in fact i think i had downloaded unity and like a sample project and i played around with it but for some reason i didn't like appreciate i, I didn't like it was almost like game maker which I had actually used in the past. That's a story for another video because I did actually start making games way earlier than 2011. But this video is about how I started programming, not making games. So I like the idea of this is just a text editor with text in it, code, right, in Eclipse, and you get a game. And the cool thing was, like, this was, this was, especially for someone new to programming, this was pretty, like, hefty. Like, he had written, like, a 3D software rasterizer, like a ray tracing kind of one that was essentially 
very similar to what John Carmack had done for Doom. That was my first thing I ever programmed, right? I mean, again, you can't really say that I programmed it, obviously, because I just copied the code, but obviously I developed it, like I developed on it and I learnt on it and I tweaked it and such, but that was the first thing I ever wrote was was like a 3D software rasterizer. Ridiculous. I don't know how I got so far as well because like that's such a difficult thing for a beginner to do. But I don't know. I guess that's probably why I'm so interested in low-level tech and stuff. Probably like because I just... I, that's the coolest thing. That that was actually the thing that motivated me the most. The fact that again, 100% this game, me, right? Like there's no... Everything that there is to this game, including how every pixel is placed onto the you know, onto the screen, that is all in this, like in these files, all the code, right? It wasn't like Unity where you have a Unity project file or that's, that to me was just like, this is not, it's like using one of those Hollywood like movie making games to make a movie. Like you're not actually making a movie. You're like choosing a bunch of presets and like that, that's what Unity was to me. Obviously that's not true and I didn't understand it as much, but that's what it seemed like to me. And so I was like, I don't know, this doesn't really feel real. This feels like I'm just, I don't know, making something using presets. So I really liked the technical aspects of it and I loved learning about all that stuff. So I had my Java book, I was reading all this code and I was basically learning, I was trying my best to learn and I had no, no one, no one in high school knew how to program and I'm not talking about the students, I'm talking about the teachers. Like, back then, I know it's changed now, but back then, at least the school that I went to, did not teach programming at all. They had some IT classes that taught PHP. That was as far into programming as you went, PHP. Like maybe a little bit of Visual Basic, but I certainly never did any of that. Like it was pretty much all PHP. There was a lot of HTML and CSS and that kind of stuff. No, like don't even think anyone even used JavaScript at all. Like it was just like a few web things. We did database stuff using Microsoft Access. I, I, I don't know, like now I know, now I know people are teaching programming in high school, which is really important. I like that. Great idea. Back then, no. So I, I, it's not like I could go to someone at school and be like, hey, I don't understand this code, please help me. And for some reason, I didn't post on forums online at all. Like, I don't remember myself ever, I probably didn't even know about Stack Overflow. No, I would have probably discovered Stack Overflow because I Googled so many things about programming, but I didn't, I never really had a mentor or I never really asked anyone, I couldn't ask anyone in person there was actually one person who... Anyway, this is the British series, so I can't, I can't go into this. That's probably like the gist of it, really. I mean, that's how I started programming. I found Notch's live stream and I copied or stole all the code from there and then read it. Oh, and reading that code and trying to understand it, man, you have no idea how much effort I put into that. Halfway through the year in 2011, in like July, we had like a winter camp. Like I full on printed the source code I had to like, and this was like, at this point, this was barely the source code of like, just a random array of pixels on the screen, like just random colors on the screen. It's not like a game or anything. It was like 10 pages maybe of code, maybe less. I printed this, I put it into a display folder and I took it with me to this school camp. And I remember at night, I was in my tent with a flashlight reading that code. And I, I didn't I didn't know Java, right? Like I'd begun reading the Java for Dummies book, I think at that point. So I knew a little bit about how programming worked, but I barely knew anything, but I just, I was reading it and I was trying to make sense of the code. And I was like, all right, cool. This method, this, this method calls that method, I guess. So that's on page three, like literal, I'm not, even, I'm not making this stuff up. Like that is how passionate I was about learning. And so that's why I think I went from like having never written code or just known anything about programming at all to like writing code and being able to understand a lot and probably knowing most of Java in like six months because I was just so into it, you have no idea. We're in a bridged version. This is getting a bit, a bit long and I need to go. I think there's gonna be a part two to this to so hang around.